But here in Delta Company, which was a company I had to because I got cycled for reasons, a lot of people aren't as they uh, I, I, don't, I don't quite know. I mean, I kind of understand the story of Delta. Um, strict, I guess you could say. A bit more harsh on punishments. Right. But I mean, you know, the. Still, like, even people in my company, and, and not my company, even people in my platoon, which we have the easiest drill sergeants, our drill sergeants are like the coolest drill sergeants, they're freaking amazing. <laughs> Very high respect for them. And, um, but even people in my platoon are kind of jerkish to each other. I, I just don't understand why. Man. But, uh, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, it's like, it's like what my recruit I need a lot of people. Some are gonna be really cool. Did you really just summon a monster on my town? No. Bob. I was gonna be nice and not take your fucking hands. But now they're leaving. Did you really just summon a monster on No. Bob, this is why I hunted you down last time. Uh, um, my name is also, Leanne. this lady. Okay. I'd like you to. For a minute. Would you like you met her at basic? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's everywhere. The noob. Ah, oh, what? The thank you, is the noob. Lane the village the first town. Guys. Guys. Guys, holy crap. Oh man, it's all the way up there. Guys, holy crap. Who's a planet again? Huh? Yeah. Who doesn't plan anything? Yes. It's been announced. Like, for a, a officially? Ludo mm -hmm. has been a planet for a while now. How come it was taken out again? I don't know. Anyways. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> now they found a moon's orbiting Pluto, so it's officially the planets now. Again. Cool. Why'd you say no, Tamma? <laughs> because I'm not giving Bren the Grandpa. Please. <laughs> Grandpa? <laughs> Please. What the heck? Oh. Oh. Swirly dirty. Ah. Ah. Swirly dirty. Ah. Ooh, the whispers e. of the dark uh, uh. Ting. You can go to ISO. The whispers of the dark okay. revenge said yeah. Eevee. Which one do you prefer? You wanna buy better magic? Friend? Which one do you prefer? Uh, better magic block, at least. What do you got? Uh, the base one. <laughs> that explains a lot. It does Thank explain you. a lot. Buy electro beam. I don't need attack magic. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You can't even buy magic. Is fine. Just buy the weakest one there. Which one do you oh my god. It's a little bit stronger than the one you have. Jeez, buy Sleepy. I don't want Sleepy. I'm gonna buy something. Let me see here. Um, um, I suggest Banish. I'll do what Banish does. Yeah, I know. It's successful. Drop your kill your enemy. But the success rate is probably very low. No, we have uh, we've used this before on each other. <laughs> yeah, Don't you remember? It, it has a normal like, success rate. It's just you're very at risk after you've done it. Right. But if it were to be used on the boss, I think. Could you even do it on the boss? The boss might dodge it. I mean, yeah. I mean, not only that, doesn't the like magic block too? Like no, best? no, no. Nah. Uh, he he does have a really good magic block, but he's not here. I don't know. It is literally better than something you have in the third continent. <laughs> and we're on like a step. I don't know, mirror image is pretty cool. It's pretty good. It doesn't even attack with your full attack power. I don't know, I'm just saying. If you used it more, if you used it more, because it does attack with your full attack power, so it is actually complimenting to you, though. You just need to use it more. Yeah, I know, but I never use it. 
come back soon. I will burn your shop down one day, talking you, cat. You don't like that cat, why? Because Stupid don't me. you don't you remember in Asia my whole point in being in Asia? No, no, you said he didn't count because he's not a perp. No, I did say he counted. No, no, you said he didn't count. Don't, don't I always threaten him, though. No, you didn't. I have always threatened him. 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 I've always threatened him. I've always threatened to burn his house down. Friend. friend. What? Who's the one, friend, who's the one who's gone over the episodes? Bro, I distinctly remember threatening to burn his house down. No, your memory is wrong. You have Ever since Europe, up. I've threatened to burn his house down. I've always I, called him out. Ever since South America, you threatened to burn his house down? No, it was more recent than that. South or more, more or later, whatever. South America. Man, you don't have to like pull up some footage and show oh me that, because like, I distinctly remember calling him out in Asia. Okay, I'm gonna kill this thing in one hit with the magic. Like, I remember saying I allow him to live because, like, character services of Jesus him. Christ. It started as a magician. <laughs> or whatever. Um, Tamma can one shot the boss. Oh, go take your time back. It's my only option. <laughs> Brandon, I'm coming to give you a hug. I don't like hugs. I don't accept this. I'm coming to give you an electric hug. I've literally done nothing wrong. <laughs> you annoyed me. Good job! Good job! Do all the towns keep their investments? Mm-hmm. So all the towns around here are still... Whatever level we left them at. Dang, that's a lot of high-level talents that's just waiting to get picked up. Come on! No! You can fight me. No! You should come and fight me. No! <laughs> no! You were very enthused to fight me. Well, I was not! In Europe. In Europe you were enthused to fight that me. That was so long ago! <laughs> Well, you know what? You should still be enthused. Oh, uh oh. Oh, Ow. <laughs> Murder. Hey, Bob. Hmm? I just thought of something. What? Victory is mine! Oh, I got a vice spinner! Yes! Um. See if my magic can kill you in one turn. No! 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 <laughs> oh my god. And it won't I've even kill Brandon in one hit. Wrong. You have more of a chance to like, hit Brandon, but it does <laughs> Like, Bob has done more than I have stuff no. Alright. Uh, no. to your maker. <laughs> <laughs> when the ninja dodges, it like curls up into a singularity. It becomes a quantum singularity then on. Gosh. Ah, yes. Return of the One. <laughs> With Return a vengeance. That one. <laughs> or, or Ren's favorite number. Oh my god. Remember when I had to track it down? There's nothing but me. <laughs> oh, that was painful. That was painful. Remember when we were the thief? And <laughs> you ran over Brandon like four times? <laughs> You were talking about that earlier, remember? <laughs> God, that was painful. I'm gonna eat this Wallet shit. Cookies. Just eat it. Just eat it. Just eat it. Eat it. Eat it. get to the item shop. No! I can't even get to the <laughs> item store! 
trying, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to get to that iron shot. Go to the weapon store. I don't want to go to the weapon store. Remember that time you sold your weapon to weapon shop and you tried to rub it back? Hey there! <laughs> Which one do you want? What time you were a dumbass? And then, like, you failed at robbing it back. So I literally have Guess the strongest have. weapon store. That's great. Guess what I have. What do you have? Hmm. What do you want to sell? I have peppermint Hershey kisses. Good. What do you want to sell? What do you want to sell? Jesus Christ. Nice guy badge. What do you want to sell? The nice guy badge just fucking, uh, like, makes you forgive by the fucking government. Mm -hmm. Because you're apparently a registered nice guy. I am a registered Whatever. nice guy. Whatever that may be, that may be. Well, you can go anywhere. It says the Tower of Rapple. Where do I want to go? The moon. It's an item store you can go to. I'm debating that. Oh, Don't you can go it. there and see them. Do it. You have yeah, like. That's what, that's what I was thinking. No! I need my tasks. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Level 2. Level 1. They don't even give me that uh, much money. <laughs> I have chosen. Safi! <gasps> I'm ready to kick my ass. <laughs> I'm so glad you're not a thief. I was thinking that too. I love how there's space like after mine. <laughs> there is spaces after your name right now, isn't there? Yeah. That way. It took us forever to notice it, and we had to be told it was it. there. <laughs> hey, don't steal from me, I'm trying to get to the iron shop. <laughs> God damn it. Now is the time. I'm trying to make dinner so I can eat more. Now is the time, I swear. Yeah, I guess I can update my weapon. <laughs> hey there! Yeah, what kind of weapon do you even have? Okay, you have the halberd and a no, I don't have the, I don't and have the, the super halberd. shield. No, you do have the halberd. No, I don't. Or something have... equivalent. No, I, I have something. I don't think it's. What do you want Just remembered something. Yeah, oh, halberd. it is the halberd. See, Bren. See, Bren. You a dumb. I just remembered. I just remembered something want? stupid that happened one time I was playing video games. What? I was playing Stardew Valley, and there was the that one party that's on the beach where you have to take food. See you later. And I didn't take any food. The only thing left to do was put in the food, and I couldn't because I didn't have any food. So I, I literally soft locked the game because I didn't have any food to bring because it wouldn't let me leave. How'd you do that? You could have just talked to the mayor and said you're ready to get. Didn't have any food to put in the pot. Yeah, it's not it's not mandatory to put. Oh, it it made me. Uh, it's it's a, it's not mandatory to put the pot. But, well, apparently my game glitched because it wouldn't let me leave. It wouldn't let me do anything. When I said no, it just took me off of the menu. And then you're supposed to talk to like, the mayor. Did you talk to the, like, did you try to talk to the mayor and saying, hey, let's start this? And then did everything mayor... I could. Huh, that's <laughs> weird. Yeah, I guess it was a bug. Apparently the game bug. <laughs> well, you know, I can't expect something to work wrong. It wouldn't let me do it. It wouldn't. Oh, when I tried it. to leave, it wouldn't let me. When I tried to start the festival, it wouldn't let me. That's weird. This happened. This happened. I. But I reset and tried again, and it happened again. Okay, now I think that's. You're missing something there. There is something glitched before the day started. <laughs> Cause like I'm playing Stardew Valley right now, and I literally just got done with that part. <laughs> Maybe something glitched before the day started. I don't know, that's some weird stuff. Stop yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna get away. Everything I could. Yeah. Stop. Stop. But I literally turned my game off and then restarted my game because I forgot. 
to the festival when I wanted to. Whoa. Well, not mine, because I tried everything I could. Damn. Whoa. Impressive. I'm so frustrated about it when it happened. <sighs> Fucking really? Okay, game. I see your BS. Oh! You can go to the item store. Nice. Oh, why hello there. What would you like? Hey, Alright, let's see here. Just give me all of them. Give yeah. me like a hundred spinners. <laughs> Thanks, Mojari. Bunny! Uh, okay. Uh... Okay. Do I have any items that I what don't want? Do you when you tug on a cat's tail, they're sort of spring-loaded and they just start walking forward when you let go. What do you want to sell? So, what do you want to sell? That crystal as well. So, what do you want to sell? What would you like? Everything. Thanks, Tell me everything. I've just seen the best parts. And celebration 2019 will be like Come back you know, 2019 is the into the underground can happen. What? This is the last year Chara can fall off into the underground. Huh. Pretty neat. Bob, it's your turn. Uh can I go to the store now? No? Okay. You can die. That sounds about right. Ooh. The back out temple. Oh, like the outback? Uh, I get it. Yes, Bob. Good job, Bob. God damn it, Bob. I wasn't able to do in ignorance. Um, I pointed that out one time. <laughs> I wasn't able to do in ignorance from that pun. I straight up pointed that out one time. I wasn't able to live in ignorance from that pun. I'm gonna send the king the koala cookies. <laughs> you missed a roll. Seal. Uh, I told Jai I was busy. Okay. Come back anytime. Ooh. Let's see here. What else happened to basics that I can talk about? Besides, everyone had finished rolling by the time that I looked. <laughs> it was a bit late to be rolling. She was smacking on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Not even gonna mind it, boy. Time to die. Time to die. Damn, when you're almost at a thousand HP. Next level up. <laughs> oh, and this thing happened again. You wanna like save and turn off? It's only the thing twice. is that I think the dual core speed hack is off. My process is just too good. Don't compliment yourself like that, Bob. Oh. <laughs> Computer's don't, doing its best. Don't compliment yourself like that unless you know your computer is that good. It is! Ouch! Mm, we'll check. Yes! Oh, I know. I could tell the story about the time uh, everybody in my computer tried to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so so the barracks is divided up into bays, right? Sure. And literally everybody in my bay tried to fight me one time. Why? <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, oh man, it was it was it was terrible. So okay, so this is what happened. 
I literally don't blame them for doing this. <laughs> I might have joined in if it had been anybody else. But this is what happened, so... Um, this was on one of the days... Okay, so... It was- I was in Charlie Company. Now, there's one huge difference between Charlie Company and Delta Company. The drill sergeants in Charlie Company are like natural born time managers. They will manage the ever hell out of your time. In Charlie Company, we were doing something every second of the day. It did not matter what day it was, it did not matter if it was a Sunday, or if it was a weekday, we were doing something. They kept us busy all the time. Dang. And it was one of the days... Uh, it was the day that a uh, senior, a uh, Bush senior had died. Oh. So... The government had said that it was, you know, a federal holiday or something, and because it was a federal holiday, we could not do training. Oh man. So, because we get federal holidays off. And, so the drill sergeants- No, I dropped the they... second place! So the drill sergeants, they didn't know what to do with us, because we weren't allowed to do training. So they did what they called unscheduled training events, which was basically training we were to be doing not that day, but literally in two days. They're giving us a sneak peek for we're going to be doing in two days. It was pretty crazy. So, wow, so on a federal holiday they trained you twice as hard? Nah, not twice as hard. They just gave us a sneak peek at what our future training was going to be. Huh. And... But they could but that day the training was going to be particularly light because it was rifle okay. marksman training. And rifle training is easy, but it takes all day. Right. But because this wasn't really rifle training, it was a mock rifle training, I guess you could say. We got done with it relatively. So the drill sergeants didn't know what to do with us. So they had us go to our base for bay maintenance. And they were going to inspect the bays, make sure that they were clean and made right. However, this drill sergeant put a little bit of a twist on it. One of my drill sergeants in particular was doing the inspection. And he said, I'm going to inspect this bay. If there's anything wrong with it, you have to destroy it and then remake it. Or it was with our bunks. He said, if there's anything wrong, you're going to destroy your bunks and remake your <laughs> And we were like, okay, that's cool. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Bet. So, you know, we made our bunks all nice and good looking and everything. And he was going bay by bay, too. So, if Bay 1 messed up, it, it was just Bay 1 messed up. It wasn't everybody in the barracks had to leave. But this drill sergeant was having fun with it. Oh no. He walked into a room, I swear to I, I shit you not. Literally walked into a room. When you're starting walking into a room, you do two things. You're supposed to be toe, toe to line, which basically means you're standing in. <gasps> Oh, your staff, bro! What the heck? Your staff, bro! I'm gonna murder you! <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> so, when a drill sergeant enters, you go to at ease. And you stand, and straight, on right. a row or whatever. I literally heard him enter into a room and go, he popped his hip. Destroy your bunks. What? <laughs> so literally, somebody adjusted and popped their hip, and he went, he popped his hip. Destroy your bunks. Hey, I'm trying to save the world. Don't attack me. <laughs> <laughs> and so he was fighting like 
petty shit to make us destroy our books. <laughs> and it was about the fifth or sixth or twentieth time he had told us to destroy our that he walked into our bay and he started observing all of our stuff and he walked so when you make your buff right it's all tucked in there's hospital papers on your oh. bed sheets I am rolling you shut up <laughs> I'm explaining shit well rolling is more important I was rolling I was my thumb was literally about to <laughs> too bad have some patience Jesus Waluigi died anyway. Jesus Christ. <gasps> well, I'm not scared. <laughs> so, anyways, as I was saying... He walked in and he started closely inspecting all bunks. So when you make your bunk, it's supposed to have hospital papers, which are folded at like there are these folds that make like a 45 degree. And you're supposed to have your laundry bag tied to your bunk in a very specific way. And my laundry bag was tied really tight and pretty damn good. Right. And the drill sergeant walked over to it and he said, This is nice. You did a good job. To mine. And I felt really accomplished. And he said, But your battle buddies aren't as good. Uh, and, then he said, and then he said, So I'm giving you the authority to tell your battle buddies to destroy their bones. <gasps> And so I was like, okay. No. Mitch! Um, it's Mitch! It's Mitch! No. Three, four, five, or six, it's a good chance. One. One. Okay, That's you know this is fucking right. <laughs> so, your battle buddy? Hmm. To stop me. Tsunami. I say to saw me because I can. So, anyways. So you know, and he uh, and he just walks over to the entrance. Oh wow, how appropriate. So he just walks over to the entrance. He just goes. Say it. Say <laughs> and it. I, <laughs> and I just go, destroy your banks, or destroy your bunks. <laughs> and so, you know, we destroy our bunks. You know, I, I rip all my sheets off and throw them off the ground, and I throw my pillow on the floor, all that good jazz. And one of my battle buddies, he only halfway just. And so, you know, I tell my. My bay to, you know, fix displays, make your beds, and we do it. Right. Little Sarn comes back in. <laughs> I love my battle buddies, but some days I just hate them. Oh no. <laughs> Literally, one of them is digging in their locker as the drill sergeant walks in. We tell him to get out of his life. We tell the guy standing in the door that he's not going to come back. Because somebody's digging in their locker. Drill Sergeant walks in, sees my battle buddy digging in his locker, and then runs back to the line and goes into position of, position of at ease. And, and the drill sergeant just goes, What were you doing? <laughs> he just goes, Oh. And you just go, destroy your bunks. <laughs> so... Gentlemen. You get food. So we all destroy our bunks, again, for the trillionth time. And one of my battle buddies says, Hey, take your turn, Brandon. That's what your battle buddy says. 
Oh, my bad. I forgot I was the pink one. 